So over the past few days, Phil has been coming on saying that he's struggling financially. Due to the fact that he keeps going on and on and on about how the trolls are infiltrating his own little financials and they're just giving him fake memberships. He was actually hoping that people would actually come forth and contribute throughout his Super Bowl event. But needless to say that that didn't happen and he barely did anything sports related. Instead he played Tekken, made himself look like a sports character or a football player, and then tried to go for a football player job in Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Needless to say, it wasn't very enjoyable. The only thing that was truly quote unquote enjoyable was him reacting to the food. Now, it's not the best thing in the world for it, but everyone knows that it's just a fucking train wreck when he eats food. So what you're about to see is for the past few days of me recording this and just figuring out what the hell is wrong with me. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my Super Bowl event for 2024. And today we've already had a fun podcast and played some Tekken 8 where I made a NFL player version of King, the fight. Even though nobody really cares about that. Um, but now it's time for our first piece of food during the event. And my wife has just made something awesome. She found the recipe online. They are called Pizza Bombs. Uh-huh. So that just looks like a pizza pocket, essentially. Or it's just essentially snack food. And yet, you told your wife, Honey, you gotta make this food for my event, or else we're gonna go homeless. Take a look at this. So what this is, is pastry dough. Well, actually, I think it's a biscuit dough. All right? That is seasoned with Italian seasonings. And then inside of each dough is mozzarella cheese with turkey pepperonis. Phil, just get regular pepperonis. Stop thinking that you're healthy by getting things are turkey. For God's sakes, nobody likes anything turkey unless it's actual fucking turkey. Turkey bacon, fuck out of here. Turkey pepperoni, shove that up your ass and get the fuck away from me. And then on top of each one, she sprinkled a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and then you bake them in the oven. Parmesan cheese? Really? It's on there? I don't fucking see it! To get this awesome handheld treat, and then you dip them in marinara sauce, which I have right here. That doesn't even look like marinara sauce! That just looks like salsa, just missing the chunky pieces. Okay, so they, they're literally fresh out of the oven. As I went downstairs to get another beer for today's marathon event, the yeah, I had to grab himself a Blue Moon, even though I wouldn't really call Blue Moon a beer. I call it like an ale. Pizza bombs were just coming out, so now they're ready to try, and I can't wait to try them. Can't wait to try it, glug, glug, glug. Oh, former alcoholic. Um. So shout out to my wife. And I'm nah, I'm not going to shout out to your wife, for God's sakes. Why wasn't she a part of this? Was the camera too small that you couldn't fit both of you on the fucking screen? Amazing cook who's making food all day. We have three different things of food she's making today. Did she really agree to cook all that food for you, Phil? Or did you force her to do it saying, Honey, I had that Super Bowl event. You better get it to me or else I'll kick you out. Let's try. So just to show you what they look like, I wanted to get some to actually have burst in the oven so you can actually see inside there. See that? No, I can't really see it, Phil, because your fucking camera is blurry. All I see is just your hand that says light. God damn, you need to get some more sun on you. It just looks awful. Like, I can't see what that is. What the hell is that supposed to be? Either A, turn off that ring light, or B, get a better camera. So there's a pepperoni with some cheese peeking out. I don't really see any cheese on there at all. That just looks like the dough. We bought the mozzarella that you can get in that like, clump. It's not like the shredded. It's the one that comes in like the big clump, but it was pre-sliced. All you do is just shove it inside the pastry dough and you bake it like that, right? So actual mozzarella instead of the processed mozzarella. Let's give it a shot. I'm first, I'm going to just taste it plain. And then I'm going to try it with the marinara sauce. And then I'll probably talk with you guys while I eat. No, I don't want you to talk while you eat, Phil, because that's completely fucking disgusting. Did your parents not teach you anything about table manners? All right, so here we go. So here's the first pizza bomb. I'm going to try to take a bite. And the pig begins his chewing. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like gout. God fucking damn those fucking noises. Like, at first I thought, okay, that doesn't sound like Phil chewing, but... It just sounds like he's just swooshing it in his mouth. Like, god damn, where's my beer? That is yummy. So, the because it's fresh out of the oven, 
the biscuit bread is still fluffy on the inside, but it has a little bit of a, a crunchy exterior. And the turkey pepperoni is delicious. Turkey pepperoni just sounds disgusting. And just the way that you're eating it is even more disgusting. And the way you make that face like, my wife could cook, you guys. God's sakes, man. I just hate his faces. Immediately, I got a burst of flavor from the pepperoni. Was it robust? Did it taste of garlic? And then the cheese is a perfect balance to that. I mean, pepperoni and cheese is classic pizza, right? Honestly, the only thing that's missing inside of it to actually make it an actual pizza roll is the sauce. If you put sauce in it, that would be one thing. It would make it taste better, but uh, no. It's just pepperoni. That's not even real pepperoni. It's turkey baked pepperoni. Cheese. That's it. There's nothing in there to, like, give it more flavor. Like, for God's sakes. If you're going to say that your wife made great food, but then later on you're going to blame the recipe for it, uh, shut the fuck up, Phil. Didn't you say that your wife can improve any recipe that she finds? And now we go on to the second mm. bite. Nice <laughs> fluffy. Are you sure it's fluffy, not doughy? OID says so it's a Hot Pocket, essentially. It's better than a Hot Pocket. No, that's what that is, Phil. It's essentially a fucking Hot Pocket. Because it's freshly made. It doesn't have to have a ton of preservatives or anything. There is butter on it, but it's not overly done. Like, Hot Pockets are kind of gross. This is like basically like a homemade version. So now... Depends on what Hot Pocket you really get, Phil. Hot Pockets aren't really that bad, though. But I love the fact that Phil wants to be like, my wife made it. It's homemade. It's so good. Anything else is disgusting. I would rather go eat a Hot Pocket than whatever your wife makes. Now, let's actually try it with marinara sauce. It doesn't even look like marinara sauce. It just looks like fucking regular taco, like mild hot sauce that you just pour into a fucking bowl. And why is it a paper bowl? That makes it worse. Mmm. That's seriously good with the marinara sauce. I highly doubt it. Yummy. Phil, I swear to God, I want to slap you so goddamn hard. Maybe it'll make you stop making those disturbing yet stupid faces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are stupid. Yeah. Wow, she, she nailed it because she easily could have put too much butter on it and all you would have tasted is butter. I can taste butter, but only a faint amount on the outer end. If you could taste butter, then it means that she put a lot of butter into it, Phil. But you're like, oh, it's, it's a faint taste. It's not really buttery flavored, is it? You can taste the pepperoni is like almost the star because it stands out with its flavor. Even though pepperonis don't really have the star attraction with it, though, Phil. For God's sakes, what makes a Hot Pocket a Hot Pocket is the combination of the sauce, the cheese, and the meat that's in it with its coating, a.k.a. the breading. But, again, I don't think your wife knows how to really cook, though, and you just bought these at the store and just threw them in the oven and pretended it was homemade. And the mozzarella, she put just enough in there to kind of fill it, but not over amount, so it's not too much stretchy, greasy cheese. Wait, Phil, mozzarella is actually a good cheese. A real authentic mozzarella actually doesn't really have that much grease to it. I mean, for God's sakes, Phil, this isn't real good food. A good pizza bomb, as you like to call this recipe, would have a good amount of cheese into it. That it's cheesy, that it has... Good cheesy texture. God damn it, Phil. Why did I agree to do this to myself? And I, what I really like is the seasoning. She put, you could taste oregano. I don't know what she had. We might have had like a mix, like an Italian mix of seasonings. You call that Italian seasoning, Phil? <laughs> Why is it you want to call it an Italian mix? That she put on here. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her later what she actually put on them. But it has good flavor to it because of that. I really like these. Uh, shout out to Plato. Plato just gifted a membership and went to the one and only. Congrats to the one and only. Yeah, congrats to the one and only. Is it real or is it Argentinian? Who knows? Thank you very much, Plato, for the gifted membership. Yeah, the fucking food's so bad he has to take a sip of beer. Yeah, this is super good. So I would say, um, if you're looking to do something quick in the oven, and I didn't think it took that long. It was very easy to, co to cook, not a long time. This is a good finger food. You know, 
I'm simulating kind of Super Bowl here. No, you're really not though, Phil, because if you're really simulating a Super Bowl event, you would actually be around friends and family, looking at the TV screen, hoping that the 49ers or the Chiefs are going to play off, and whoever team you're supporting, you're going to root for that team. This is not a Super Bowl event. This is just a guy pretending that he likes football, but doesn't like football. This is just a pathetic excuse for him to say, I like sports, guys. Look at my jersey. And it's the fucking hate army one. It's the goddamn king of hate. What? Well, goddamn. Shout out to hate. For anything, for any event, I would say that these are pretty good as a snack. Why buy crappy Totino's pizza rolls when you can make authentic tasty stuff at home that's way better right even though i'd rather just go buy pizza rolls it's the sake of convenience the reason why people buy those phil but the way that those look those don't even look like they're completely fucking done you say it took a short time to bake but did she even check anything did she poke it to make sure that it went through that it's not doughy Nah, of course not first time around it's the best so now i'm gonna take this one that i didn't bite into yet and i'm gonna dip that into the marinara to start Okay, the first bite will be covered in marinara sauce. See that? Wow. You know, I would continue with this, but I don't want to torture anybody here, and I don't want my audience to hate me saying, why are you letting us watch a man who is making disgusting noises and dumbass faces, and it looks like he's just just his pants? Well, good question. I'm just going to go ahead and skip to it, because apparently he did... Finish the rest of it. Apparently, some people had something to say about it, and Phil didn't like it, or Cat didn't. All right. So who was talking shit in the chat when I was gone? Because my wife was watching the stream, and she says that people are talking shit. So let's take a fun thing here. I love the fact how originally Cat never watched his streams at all because apparently she wanted nothing to do with it. Now all of a sudden, Cat watches the streams, and they saw that the cookie was bad, and she her feelings were hurt. Here we go. Let's see. What part was authentic? The oregano? This is Super Bowl food. It's supposed to be American snack food you make quick for the Super Bowl. Enjoy your- Even though what that looked like, Phil, it wasn't really much of a quote-unquote finger food. It wasn't really much of a good food or Americanized. It looked more Italian. You're banned. Yeah, get banned because you asked a question that was considered to be a joke. Let's see. Did she make the dough, the sauce, the cheese, signs of a great cook? This is American Super Bowl food. Snack. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm going to repeat that question again. Food you make quick for the Super Bowl. Enjoy your band. I'm going to repeat this question. Let's see. Did she make the dough, the sauce, the cheese, signs of a great cook? That's not a question that is worth the ban. It's just a legit question. What if someone actually just came in, like, saw that you were just going, nom, 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 mmm, then my pussy, I mean, my wife makes really good food. It's like, Phil, that's not a bad question. It's not even a bannable question. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, no, that's, that's a your tractor meme. Oh, ban. This is American Super Bowl food, snack food, to make during the day she's cooking three times enjoy your ban why are you yelling at that person telling them to get fucked because they asked the question like phil it's a legit question and you just picked it for no fucking reason who's next you want to sit here and be little dumb kids because i'm not in here and you're gonna talk shit on the stream no you're not Little bitches. Quit saying the word bitch because a real person that's trying to be intimidating, there has to be a lot of bass in the voice. It's like, you little fucking bitch. Why the fuck are you going to say all this shit about my wife's cooking? At least that sounds more intimidating than you little bitches. Mmm. Remember, this is what everyone came to see. A 41-year-old man-child acting like a glutton going mmm to the sound or the sight of food. Stealth Guild did a super chest. Can you chew with your mouth closed, please? No. I can only chew with my mouth open to annoy you. I do it on purpose, actually, to make sure that people who are really, like, like entitled whiny bitches on the internet are very annoyed. That's why I do it, actually. So thank you for the super chat. Phil, this person that sent you that super chat was not asking as an entitled little bitch boy like you proclaim that they are. They asked because it's very fucking rude to chew with your mouth open. Did you not learn anything about table manners? Or did your parents just throw you into the room, gave you a shitload of foods like eat like a pig, go fucking nuts? As I enjoy this amazing dip. That dip does not even look amazing. I'm sorry that that's the face you guys see, but that dip looks awful. 
It just looks like Cat just threw open a bowl and said, Here you go, honey. Phil, this is the reason why nobody likes you at all. It's because that someone just asked you a common question of, hey, just eat with your mouth closed. No, nah, I'm going to be, I just do it because y'all are really be little bitches. I'm going to do it anyway because it annoys y'all. Like, really, Phil? If someone just said, hey, Phil, uh, could you stop streaming because you can just go take care of your family? No, nah, I have to keep streaming. I have to do it because you entitled bitches. Like, is that the thing you always tend to go for? Is just calling everyone a little bitch? You have no bass in your fucking voice when you call people bitches, so it means nothing to me. But yet, the whole thing about how you're not even closing your mouth and you decide to just go on with it because I'm Dark Side Phil, I can do whatever the fuck I want, it just annoys people even more and it just makes people hate you. Oh, tortilla chip broke. Uh, what am I doing? I should eat the quesadillas too. The dip is outstanding, but I should oh, totally. Oh, no, it's not. I'm no, it is not. Shut the fuck up. That does not look good at all. Quit deluding yourself to believing that your wife could cook. Try the quesadillas. Because you put a lot of effort into those. So this has seasoned fajita chicken, pico de gallo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, no. Phil, that is not done. Like, a quesadilla should be, like, crisp on both ends. It doesn't, shouldn't even look like that. Cheese. Um, what else? I think some bacon bits? It might have a lot in it. Let's, let's just take a bite. That doesn't even look done all the way. Like, what the fuck? That's not really what a quesadilla is supposed to be. What you just did was took a burrito, folded it in half. Didn't even bother rolling it up. Just fold it in half and you just call it a quesadilla. Like, Phil, do you even know what a quesadilla really is? I think it has a ton of things in it. Yeah, that does not look fucking done. I'm sorry. It doesn't. It looks bad. Wow. Is it the fact that you couldn't think of anything negative to say about your wife's cooking? That's the reason why you had to do the animated little head motions? Like, Phil, that does not look good at all. And the ingredients that you described, it doesn't just sound good. It just sounds like, eh, very mediocre at best. I don't even need to dip it in anything. This is hours old. My wife made this over two hours ago. I w wait, 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 that's hours old? That doesn't even look good. Like, Phil, it should be fucking dry. Like, it should be crunchy. Why? How? Warmed it up to bring it up here. It's full of flavor. It tastes amazing. Okay, what flavor does it have in it, Phil? Can you taste the bacon bits? There's a little processed fake bacon. Or is it turkey bacon? Mmm. <laughs> I hate this. I hate his eating. Uh... Yeah, that... <laughs> That just does not look appetizing at all. I'm sorry. That just looks like a burrito folded in half. Not even a quesadilla. I was I was skeptical about the bacon. The bacon tastes great in this. Is it real bacon or is it just the bacon bits that you buy in a container just dump into it? It doesn't... No. This just doesn't look right. Ah. Mmm. Wow. Is that all you can really say, Phil, is wow and flavorful? I mean, for God's sakes, Bill, you claim to be a reviewer and that you like to review things. Why don't you just, oh, I don't know, describe it besides flavorful? This is so good. Yeah, that didn't even sound good at all. That, that just sounded like you're just taking a bite out of something that's old. I couldn't stop eating it. I know I have to commentate on a game. But this is really good. <laughs> no, that doesn't even look good at all, Phil. And the way that you look like you're in pain, it just looks like the food is terrible. But you don't want to say anything because your wife is watching the stream. And if you say anything bad, she'll pull out the knife and be like, What'd you say about my cooking, bitch? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, and thank you to the person that actually told him, hey, could you, like, close your mouth when you eat? They said to the super chat, say, I'm not entitled, it's basic table manners. Yeah, Phil fails at basic table manners. Like, DSP tries at table manners, he fails it every time.
Hmm. Really, you had to go into the mic to make the li like lip smacking noises? That's a uh, fucking pig. Whoa. Remember, this is why people paid him a lot of money based around four different people giving him a lot of money to see him eat like a pig and say that, wow, feasty with Phil. I, I'm so glad to be eating food with Phil. When in reality, no one wants to eat food around Phil because of the noises that he makes. Like, if this was like a school cafeteria and he sat down next to you and started eating like that, everyone would just get up and walk away. Oh, Stealth Guild did another super chat. Says, it's not, I'm not entitled to basic table manners. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we at a table? Are we sitting in a five-star restaurant at a table? Are we, uh... Is Grandma M Moses sitting in the corner? Is very upset with you? Who the fuck is Grandma Moses, Phil? If you're trying to be funny with this, it's not very funny and funny at all. But, Phil, this has nothing to do with going to a restaurant and showing table manners. It's common fucking courtesy! Phil, you're live-streaming this whole thing in front of people! It's just show you have basic table manners! This is the reason why no one eats while on stream. Because no one wants to see or hear this. Because of your manners? I'm sorry, is that what the atmosphere was tonight? With me in my jersey drinking Long Island iced tea, commentating on an NFL game? Even though you have no idea what a Long Island iced tea is. Instead, you just filled the entire thing with mostly rum, and you barely put anything else into it. But you called it a Long Island iced tea. That I don't even know the players in the game. <laughs> Just the utmost professionalism here on DSP Gaming. Phil, you proclaim to be better than everyone else and that you do most better work than everyone else. That you are a better streamer than everyone else. Why don't you act like it? Prove everyone wrong with it. Oh, no, of course not. You're not going to prove everyone wrong by saying that you're a good streamer. Instead, you're going to be like a tight little pig roach that you are and just eat like a pig in front of everybody. Prove the point of the pig part, right? I'm sorry. Should I get a doily and put it down here on my computer stand that I'm eating on? Should I tuck a napkin into my neck as well to make sure that we're at the utmost of manners? You buffoon. Why are you calling this person a buffoon when the only one acting like a buffoon here is you? <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, he says, as he proceeds to act like a pig by taking another bite. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, but everyone else isn't liking it, Phil. They're not loving it. This isn't a McDonald's. They're Rick hating it. What people say to me? Who are these people that are saying shit to you, Phil? Can you name at least a few of these people? All the shit you put up with, right? All the shit you put up with, all the harassment, all the stuff online. So you gotta understand something. Like, my life is amazing. No, your life is not amazing, Phil. You'll just lie to everybody, say that it's amazing, but in reality, your life is pretty fucking shitty. But yet, you want to put on this show that your life's amazing. Everyone loves you. When no one loves you. Love my wife. My wife loves me. We take care of each other. Not very well, apparently, because whenever she was sick, you told her to get her ass out of bed to help you fold laundry. I mean, for God's sakes, Phil, you are that one person that if you're sick, you want them to take care of you. But if they're sick, you don't want to take care of them. They have to take care of you. Doesn't matter if it's in sickness or in health. You want them to take care of you because you're a child. We have the best relationship of anyone I've, e I've ever had in my life. Uh-huh. If this is the best relationship you ever had in your life, then why is she not a part of your streams more often? What is it? Because it's Tevin's fault that she's not interacting with your streams more? The reason why she came out of her little shell is to try to prove everyone wrong or you're trying to prove everyone wrong? Is that really it? Like, no lie. Anyone I've ever known in my life. You only known two people. Leanna, who actually did love you heart, body, and soul, and you treated her like shit. And then you got Kat, who you brainwashed because you tried to quote-unquote learn from your past relationship, and it's for the fucking worst. Like, red flags are going all around, and Kat's just wearing rose-tinted glasses because all she can see is fucking flags. Look what she did, all the work she put into this. Do you think she's upset that I didn't eat this when it was fresh? Of course she is. She is she really, though, Phil? Why don't we get bring her on in, Phil? Just have her say, hey, I'm upset that you didn't eat the food. Like, God sakes, Phil. It's say you want to go by, oh, she said this, but we want to hear from your actual wife then, since you want to bring her back onto the streams. Wanted me to have it when it was fresh, but shit happens, right? She makes me this. Yeah, shit happens, aka you getting drunk on stream. Yeah, shit happens. Amazing food. 
and she cares for me and I care for her. It's like, that's life. That's the, that's what you want in, out of life. And I have it. So it's like, whatever happens, happens, right? Because yeah, I'm happy. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Phil. You're saying that it's K sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. But in reality, Phil, it's whatever happens to you. Oh, the world is ending. But if something good happens to you, oh my God, I'm so happy about it. But if something good happens to your wife, you wouldn't give two fucking shits about it. And people don't get that. They don't get that. Oh, but you're Mr. Small Time on YouTube and you're just a little... Who gives a fuck? Nobody says this, Phil. The only person that says it is you. I'm happy with my life. So it doesn't matter about your virtual bullshit online. I'm happy with who I am in life, so I don't care about what you say. If you don't care about what people are saying about you, doesn't matter if it's real life people or imaginary, you wouldn't talk about it. But you keep talking about it because you do care about it. You do give a fuck about it. Fucking Turkey Tom gonna sit there. Oh, 10 years of failure. 10 years of failure as you sit there behind your fucking computer researching detractor memes about me for a month editing together a two-hour documentary about me. I'm the 10-year failure, but I'm the one enjoying my life, and you have to fucking sift through their bullshit to get a video to make money. Wait, 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 wait. Where the fuck did Turkey Tom come into this? Nobody even said anything about Turkey Tom. You just brought this up out of the fucking blue. And yet you want to sit there calling Tom a keyboard warrior, someone that doesn't know what to do with his life, and yet he had to search through the tractor memes, which isn't really the case here, because he actually looked into your actual content to make a video about you, which was actually a really good video done, but that's very debatable. But yet you're going to sit there saying, I'm happy with my life, and he has to make video for money. I'm sorry, Phil. This guy is a millionaire, and he's in his early fucking 20s. Yet, looking at you... 41-year-old man thinking that he has a successful business when in reality, he's just holding up a cup and just going, hey, give me money. I need tips. Give me money, please. I need the money or else I'll be homeless. Yeah, he's the one that's a failure and he's the one that he's doing nothing with his life. Yep, yeah, sure. Well, I get to sit here and play games all day with fun people and have a good time with my life. To find these fun people. You're not playing games with anybody. You're not starting up parties with people to play games. You're not doing anything cooperative with your fucking fans. You're not doing anything like that. Instead, you're just sitting there playing video games alone, single player, while you play a multiplayer game, again, alone, single player, and you're thinking that this is great. It's really not great, Phil. It just makes you look more and more pathetic. And then walk out of this office and have a good life. You're sitting there sifting through detractor shit all day. So who had the 10 years of failure? You did, because apparently Turkey Tom, again, he's more successful and has a lot more money than you while you're sitting there, cup in hand, begging for money. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Exactly, Phil. What the fuck are you even talking about at this point? Nobody brought up Turkey Tom. You did. So I love that dumb shit. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? You're out of your mind. Yeah, Phil, you're the one that's totally insane. But yet, you're going to say that you're sane and everyone else is insane. Even though we never brought him up. You did. That's what the internet doesn't understand. They think that everything is based on arbitrary success and failure based on views on your videos and shit. Not really, Phil. It doesn't really matter. You can enjoy whatever the fuck you want to make on the internet. As long as you're enjoying it, it's all fine. Doesn't matter if you're a big time YouTuber, which the big time views are always going to be there, or if you're a small time person, you get lucky and get a few thousand views. Again, with this though, Phil, you just want to think that everyone that's making videos is doing it for the views and they're just doing it for the money, when in reality, they're doing it for the passion. Something that you clearly don't even understand. Who gives a fuck about all of that? You know? Some of the most successful creators are miserable fucking people who are scumbags. So why do I want to care about them or be like them? I don't. This is just projection coming from Phil himself. He wants to say that everyone else that's more bigger than he is are more miserable and don't have a happy life. When in reality, the one that is miserable and has a non-successful business is Phil. He wants to keep going on and on about this, but yet everybody knows the truth about it. You know, love is what matters, man. <laughs> people say he's drunk right now. I'm not drunk at all. Man, you're a lightweight, Phil. And you're saying that love, it's all love. Okay, Phil, love isn't going to pay your bills. Love isn't going to help you whenever you have to go file for bankruptcy again. In fact, I, I refilled my Long Island IC to try to have more. This is just reality. In reality, you don't need to be big time to be happy. You don't need to be Mr. Popular. This is the stuff in life that matters, having someone who loves you. 
That's what matters. Yeah, keep that in mind when you go to the unemployment line. Nothing else. Not any bullshit that people make up. Some fucking phantom calculation of what's right and wrong, what's good and bad, what's popular, what's not popular, what's successful, what's not successful. None of their shit matters. But yet it matters to you because you're talking about it. In your drunk state, even though granted you're saying that you, I'm not drunk, you are. By the way that you're talking and slurring your words a little bit, you're drunk. Why are you talking about this, Phil? What set this off? Are you truly unhappy with your life that you want someone to talk to and your chat's your therapy? What matters is are you happy in your life? I'm happy to be loved. For the you know first time I've had that kind of a relationship in my life, truly loved, you know, for life. That's what it's all about. Phil, you had that with Leanna. You completely pissed that away. And yet you're saying that Kat was like your first chance at real love. The only reason why you fell in love with her in quotes is because she slid into your DMs on Twitter talking about OBS. And right then and there, you're like, oh, hey, she loves me. I've already hit that maximum level in that regard. Now it's all about all the other bullshit around me and trying to make do with all of that. But I've, I've hit success, you know, to the level that I want in my personal life. Yet you are not very successful, Phil, because you're coming back on stream every single time saying that my detractors ruined me. The trolls ruined me. I'm losing money because of them. Please give me money so I don't go broke. Yeah, you're truly successful. I got a $2 tip here. Thank you, whoever this was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mix water, we're worried about you. You're worried about me because I'm spouting facts. What? No, Phil, they're saying that, hey, you're drinking too much alcohol, drink it with water. And you're not spitting facts. You're just spitting out delusions that you're proclaiming to be facts. Okay. People don't like facts. They don't. They're afraid of them. The, again, they look at someone like me. All these YouTubers out there, they look at me and they say, how can he be happy? He's small time. Everyone makes fun of him constantly. Everyone hates on him constantly. Because I, I, listen, I love my job. I love my personal life. I make a living doing it. Why do I give a shit about any of the other white noise? I love the fact that he's saying that this is all just white noise, yet he's bringing it into the foreground. And yet he wants to say that other people, these big time YouTubers are talking about me. Who's talking about you, Phil? Name a few of these big name people are talking about you. Other than that, just shut the fuck up about this because it's the same shit on a different day. Really? I don't have to, to, to worry? I don't have to scrape and claw to get by? Yes, you do. You do it all the goddamn time saying that the trolls are ruining me. I'm losing $1,500. Please give me money. Please tip me. That's preferable. That's mandatory. You're scraping by in life. But every single time that you put on the sob story, we all know the reason why. It's because Scopely has a Super Bowl event. I don't have to worry about being canceled. I can't be canceled. And yet, this is where the delusion creeps in. Because you said a lot of shit saying that you couldn't be canceled for and that you're uncancelable. But yet, look at all the sponsorships that actually were under you or you had them. And they're completely gone. They don't want to work with you. Look at Stream Elements. Look at Streamlabs. They banned your accounts because of the shit that you said. Look at Twitch. They kicked you out of the partner program because of the shit that you said. And yet, you're saying that you're uncancelable. But yet you're going to say that it's the troll's fault, the reason why you don't have anything. I don't have to sift through detractor shit of people crapping on people constantly to put out videos. I don't have to crap on people be, be negative to make videos. You do it all the goddamn time, Phil. If you're playing up against somebody in Street Fighter, just any game in general, you're shitting on them every single fucking time. You bring us up on an everyday fucking basis saying that we're losers and that we should just drop dead at the face of the earth. If Thanos snapped us out of existence, the world would be a better place. You'll make fun of people like LTG, Keemstar, side scrollers, whenever the thought comes up, or just anybody that you're thinking about. You do it all the time, Phil. Stop deluding yourself into believing that you're not this person, when in reality, you are that person. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I have the life. You know? It's what life do you really have, Phil? I never knew that being a beggar was so successful. It's tough, because it's stressful with a lot of the shit that I have to go through with these people, but I have the life, man. I'm happy where I am. I always have been. Why do you think when people say to me, how can you do it? This is why, because people aren't saying this to you, Phil. They're not coming up to you and go, hey, Phil, why are you so happy? Why is it that you have a lot of people talking shit about you? How can you say so happy? Nobody's asking you this and nobody's telling you this. Instead, it's just the voices in your head through a drunken delusion to make you believe that people are saying this about you. There's a difference. It's it's public opinion, public perception versus reality 
And yet, it, within that public perception, it shows off your reality. And you don't like it when people are showing this off. You can have a perception about me that's very negative, and I don't care. Reality is, I'm happy. My wife is happy. We have a good life together. Remember, he doesn't care about any of this because he's happy. But yet, he's going to keep constantly tell you over and over and over that he's happy with his life, even though he's not happy with his life. Why do we care about you and what you think? It's all bullshit. It's all... Hey, Phil, didn't you say that's public opinion? That's a perception that someone has? What one person can say about you doesn't have to mean what someone else can say about you. But we all know that you're full of shit anyway, and that you're constantly just saying this to make yourself look good when it's not making you look good at all. It just makes you look like you're full of copium. People just trying to make a, a you know, make, bot, make do on YouTube through the negative shit they do, so why do I care? Phil, not a lot of people are doing this to get by. They're not seeing this as a job. Filippio, stop with the capio. Fucking Philium, stop with the copium. Make five million documentaries about me, I don't give a fuck. Yet someone tried to make a documentary on you, the tell-all story about Dark Side Phil, and you completely backed out of it. And now someone else wants to do a documentary with you, but it does not have your involvement with it. So... You're just saying that June the King should stop making a documentary about you because you don't care. No one cares. <clears throat> okay. No one cares. Except for Dark Side Phil. Glub, glub, glub. Ooh, I taste the rum. <laughs> Smack the rum. It just hits me because I'm sitting here having a great day today, right? And I'm looking at how, how we're doing. The food is outstanding. The food looks like it came straight out of a fucking box. You know, the camaraderie here on stream, we're having a good time, right? We're hanging out. Not everybody's having a good time with this, Phil. Instead, they're having a good time doing whatever the fuck they want to do. We're having a good one. And it's like, people are actually going to make negative videos about this and be like, Oh, look, Phil only made $200 on his stream. And yet, the very next day, you bitch to complain that you didn't make enough money off of it, and you're begging. So you're the one that brought it up. Again, you're sowing the seeds of your own demise. <laughs> He's shaking his head because he knows it's true. Meanwhile, so-and-so's restreamer got 10 times more views than him and made way more money. Even though most people that restream you don't even care about the fucking money at all. They just want to restream because they have a passion for it. They want to do it. Let them do whatever the fuck they want, Phil. Stop assuming or generalizing that they're doing it for money. And so-and-so, this talk shit about him all day. And I don't care. I don't care about you. Yeah, you don't care about us, yet you're caring about us by talking about us. And yet you fail to realize that, oh, hey, uh, when we're done, we disconnect. Yet, meanwhile... You don't even know when to disconnect from this. No one should. No one with a brain should, anyway. Yeah, you're just talking about yourself here, Phil. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, that must be so yummy. Just eating up a vomit of Mexican dip that doesn't even look good or appetizing at all. Mm -hmm. Such is the life. All right, well, a little bit more of this dip, and then we're actually going to end this video. We're oh, yeah, this video is already ending. I don't give a fuck about it anymore. I'm moving the fuck on. But, yeah, the rest of the stream was entirely boring, and it was just a nothing burger. He only made $205, and yet he thought that was very successful. But yet, you know what time it is. Oh, Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins, for I'm going to sin. We're going to watch a man who is begging again, because apparently the trolls are ruining his life, and the Super Bowl event did not help him. Forgive me for my transgressions. Amen. The only other final thing to say, I had a great time yesterday. I was pleased with how everything went. All you did, Phil, was just sat there looking lazy, playing video games, eating food, and yet had a weird moment of copium being surged right out of your mouth. Yet, yeah, you want to call that a good time. But made only $205 out of it, though. A lot of people always want to make it about money. Well, Phil, you always make it about money. I mean, for God's sakes. Did a few streams ago, you said that you lost $1,500? All right. I don't even want to think about it in that regard. Actually, yesterday was basically as if I had streamed normally all day. That's about how well I did.
Yet every single time that you do these long marathon streams, every single time you don't make that money that you want, you bitch and complain about it, saying that I wish that it would have been more money. The last Super Bowl event that you did was better than this. All right. No, there wasn't giant fundraising bombs or anything like that, nor did I ask for that. Even though you were implying it by every single time you kept saying that you were losing money because of the trolls. I didn't. It wasn't a special event where we had a giant fundraising goal at the bottom of the screen. I was talking about it all stream. In fact, I like didn't talk about it at all. But yet you were hoping that people would do that. Even though you're going to pretend that you didn't talk about it, you talked about it way beforehand. And yet, you, that's what you're hoping for. People to pull out the Velcro wallets and just throw money at you. I don't think I even once mentioned it. I just said, hey, every once in a while, hey, you want to support, please do. That was it. Like That's still implying that you're needing money. I never really even brought it up. And that was good. It made it so that I didn't have to think about it. And it was a, more, it was a better event for that, I definitely believe. Okay. Yet, $205 was not enough to save the house. It wasn't enough to save your income. But, essentially, it was as if I had just done two no regular streams on a Saturday, okay? And yet, it wasn't enough. Now, I was honestly hoping that I would have gotten maybe a little extra to help for the fact that I am down a lot of income. See, you kept saying that, oh, they're making it all about money, and what do you do? You made it about money, and you're hoping that people would give you more money. God damn it, can you keep something straight for one fucking moment of your life? Because I'm basically not getting much income with memberships anymore because people found this exploit to gift them all out essentially for free. Phil, nobody really started using this quote unquote exploit until you mentioned it. You kept bringing it up over and over and over again. Argentinian pesos, Argentinian memberships, troll memberships, illegitimate memberships, fake memberships this. I'm fuck that. It's like, God damn it, Phil. You did this. You handed everyone the keys, and you made copies of the How to Fuck with Phil Emporium. Um, make no bones about it. I am way down right now, and I'm going to get paid by YouTube in a little over a week. And that payment is going to be dramatically less than what I usually get paid by YouTube. Oh, boo fucking who, Phil? Just cry me a fucking river. Oh, what's that? Just tricklets of water? Huh, not much of a river. And that's going to hurt. Because I still got to afford everything. I got to pay all my bills and everything. All right? So, yeah, I got to pay my bills, guys. My internet bill, my electric bill, my tri-monthly bills, my scopely bill, my grocery bill. Uh, did I say scopely bill? So, all I'll say is this. If you uh, like the content, please support it this month. All right? Anything helps. Really, literally anything. A super chat, a membership, a tip is all great. But tipping would be amazing. Because if you tip me, I get those funds now. And it's going to help once this... YouTube payment comes in and ends up being way lower, the tips are going to help me to continue to be able to pay the stuff without running out of stuff or being tight, you know? Even though you make yourself tight on an everyday fucking basis, film, and yet every single time you're going, I need the tips right then and there. Because you just pull out a PayPal, and all of a sudden, as soon as you get that, oh, then you're hunky-dory for the next pulls that you get. No, this is not me putting it on you. This is not me doing a ginormous fundraiser on top of everything normal. I'm not doing that. Phil, you're putting it on your audience by saying that, hey, I need that money, guys. Please give me tips so I can pull out of PayPal. You're doing this, Phil, and yet you're saying that you're not. Very, very bad of you. All right. But I'm a down-to-earth guy, and my problems are real problems. Yeah, they're real problems that your chat should not know about. If you're struggling something in your personal life, they should not know about it. But the problem is that you push it onto your audience that it's their concern, their problems. And it shouldn't be. But yet, every single time people are asking you, hey, what's going on in your personal life? Now I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. You know, when you get a troll element of people out there who just want to destroy your life, and this has happened many times before, and I, I assume it'll probably keep happening. Phil, the only person that's really destroying your life is you. You're the one that's allowing the quote-unquote troll element to come in and ruin your life, as you like to say. It's not us ruining your life. It's you. You are sowing the seeds of your own demise, and you don't even fucking realize it. Uh, for no good reason. It's not like I, I, I seek these people out or know anything about them. They're just nuts. Even though you do know who we are, Phil, people keep sending you little fucking videos about us. The little birdies come to you and they tell you what we're doing. Okay. Um, it is what it is. All right. So anything this month would be greatly appreciated, but definitely tips would help way more right now because tips... Well, literally, I get them now and can pay bills and stuff with them. Yeah, it will definitely help out with the bills because the quarter divas are coming at you saying, where are the tips, Phil? Appreciate that very much. Thank you in advance to anyone who supports. Okay? 
Okay, that's really all I got. Yeah, guys, that's all I got. Pull out your Velcro wallets and just give me money. For God's sakes, this fucking podcasting quotes can't get any worse, right? So Anto Kamaru took me a dollar fifty. Says the CEO of Shift Up is known for making super sexualized characters like the ones you're talking about. Uh, his games have fantastic stories, even while having that kind of a character. He's unapologetic to his style. He has a massive following for over a decade. There's anything wrong with it, by the way. There are people <laughs> who are... Here we go again. Oh, great. It's getting worse. People in married and healthy relationships who love those sorts of elements. Liking it doesn't make you a lonely nerd loser like you say it does, and not liking it is okay, too. I didn't say that liking it makes you a lonely nerd loser. Yes, you did, Phil. If you said that the people that like the romance options in Baldur's Gate 3, that they're lonely nerd losers. You did say this, Phil. And anyone that likes that kind of thing, having husbandos and waifus or fictional crushes or celebrity crushes, that it's the same as cheating on your significant other. You did say this, Phil. Didn't say that. <laughs> You're putting words into my mouth. No, Phil, they're not putting words into your mouth. You said it, and it's not taken out of context. I'm saying that personally, I don't see the appeal of it. I want the game to be good on its own merits. No, you never said that, Phil. You said that people that enjoy this are lonely nerd losers. Not because they put in a, a, a cheap sexualized character and literally when the game developer is coming out saying yeah we did it on purpose to appeal to that audience that's pretty sad i feel it's not really sad phil at least the person actually came out and said yeah we did it what of it it just reminds me of the director of dragon's crown when that whole controversy around sorceress you know the big tittied witch lady apparently the, that guy came out and said hey i just like titties leave me the fuck alone yoko taro actually wants people to send him folders of his own character doesn't matter if it's not safe for work or not. I mean, for God's sakes, people can embellish in the fact they made a character that people really enjoy. Doesn't matter if they're sexualized or not. But no, coming from you, Phil, that all these people are just sad. And yet, who's more successful than you? You know, I really do feel that way. You know, it's the same thing with Bayonetta. It was the same deal where, why did the character have to look like that? Right? What did that have to do with the game? Like, literally nothing. It just shows that she's a badass woman who is very sexualized and no fucks are given. A lot of people call her like a dominatrix, like a dommy mommy, essentially. Yes, I did say these words. Don't quote me on them. But the reason why people like Bayonetta so much, it's not because of the character itself, but it told a good story and had really good combat. And again, I like to bring this up because Phil's talking like a male feminist again. Bayonetta was designed by a woman. Hideki Kamiya did not really design the character, but loved the design that was given to him, so he used it. And every single time that people mention about the moles of the glasses, oh, he definitely gets offended by people not including the glasses. <laughs> right? It didn't add anything, it just was fan service for a certain kind of gamer who then went and bought it for eye candy. Uh, Phil, what's the problem with eye candy? Do you not know what sex appeal really is? Instead, you want to call it sexual content. You can watch any movie out there, John Wick, the Mar Avengers movies. You can watch any kind of movie that has good appeal to it. If there's a celebrity that you really like and that's eye candy to you, that's not a fucking problem with it though. It's not going to dissuade the movie itself. If the movie tells a really good story or if the game tells a good story about offering great visuals and good control, maybe the game will be fine. But again, that is entirely up to the consumer, not you. Glob, club, club. I'm a sexless loser. <laughs> club, mm, smack. And I have the right to criticize it, and you have the right to like it. Uh-huh, but yet you said in the last part that um, your opinions are invalid. Everyone else could be valid, but not yours. And everyone, you know, to each their own, correct? But also, <clears throat> if I decide to skip Stellar Blade, you should respect my decision. Phil, everybody knew that you were going to skip Stellar Blade because it had a hot woman on there, and Kat wouldn't like that very much. That's the reason why you skipped Bayonetta 3. Was because of the Bayonetta, oh my god, sexual content, oh no, my, my wife will kill me, I'm married, stupid. You're not, it's not crap on me, and be like, oh, how dare he skip this game, you know, because hey, some things don't appeal to certain people, some people, things appeal to certain people, you know what I'm saying? And people might skip the game because it not might fit their preference, they might not like action hack and slash games, they might not enjoy those types of things. But they can also get the game if they choose to. Again, it's entirely based around preference, but yet... You're shitting on people for having an opinion and liking things, but yet you'll just retcon everything you said days ago by saying, I never said that. You can enjoy whatever you want. It's really bad damage control when you think about it. <coughs> Would I say the same for Nier? Now, here's the thing. I already said that. Nier does have that kind of appeal, but at the same time, Nier has one of the best stories ever written.
But yet, every single time the sexual content came on the screen, you were shitting on it for no fucking reason. In video games, that's one of the most unique fourth wall breaking elements I've ever seen. And remember, my original run, I didn't know that. When Nier Automata first came out, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, the goose just came out of nowhere and just startled me a little bit. Uh, no, Phil, when Nier Automata came out, you did not really care for the game at all. And the reason why you're bringing it up now is just because sexual content. But you kind of put that in the back of your mind, because that was when Leanna came in and started roasting you. And it was very fucking glorious. All I did was the side A run, and I, when I beat it, I was like, eh, it was alright. No, you beat side A, or the story A, and you thought that was the full game, and you dropped it. Even though people told you there are multiple endings if you keep replaying the game. And you're like, no, I played the game. I, I beat the game. The game's done. Same thing with fucking Armored Core 6. There was more to that game. One run. Okay, I'm done. And that was it. And then you guys convinced me later on to go back and play through the other playthroughs and see the other scenarios. And when I did, I was like, wow, this is like super good. Even though that never really happened though, Phil. You were shitting on them for no fucking reason at all. Saying that, no, I beat the game, guys. Shut up. But you have to get to that level. The, what these I really feel these game developers what they need to understand is you don't have to do what they're doing to be popular. Phil, if they want to put sexual themes or sexual appeal in the game, that is entirely up to the developers choosing. They can do whatever the fuck they want with the game. If they want to make the game look like a pixel mess, they could choose to do so. If they want to make a game that looks very fucking pretty to look at, that again, that's entirely up to them. Stop saying that they need to do this that makes them popular. They don't have to do whatever it is that you're trying to tell them, Phil, because the opinions that come out of your mouth are just dog shit anyway. Like, I think Nier Automata would have been fine without that. Even though they added it in there because, um, Yoko Taro is a weird individual, but he's a respectable weirdo. You need to have that level of exposure let's put it that way right even though it was more like a quote-unquote easter egg people could say whatever it is they want about it but again it was up to yako taro he was the one that put it in there it was his own decision no one else told him not to do that he did whatever he felt was right stuck with his convictions and guess what it's one of his best games he's ever done um the game would have done fine without it yeah maybe you sold a few extra thousand units from people who just that's what they're looking for in a game but for the most part I think that game on its own merits was outstanding, didn't need it, and it kind of almost cheapens the experience a little bit to say, man, it's a little sad that they had to put that in there. Even though nobody was saying that though, Phil, people were liking it for its music, its story, and its control, and also its performance. They didn't really say anything about 2B's fat ass. But at least the game's great, right? <clears throat> Yeah, wait for you to double back a little bit. It was like, oh yeah, but the game was great though, guys. I liked it, but the sexual content ruined it. But again, everyone tries to appeal to different people. They try to appeal to, you know, different walks of life, different things. I get it. Every game can't be exactly the same. If they were, then they would be boring, right? You got Even though every single game that you play, doesn't matter what genre it is, it doesn't matter who you're playing as, you're bored all the way fucking through, Phil. So stop saying that, oh, all walks of life, and you know, if they're all the same, they're boring, even though you'd be passing out anyway. <laughs> gotta have. It, it's kind of like this. I love the Like a Dragon slash Yakuza series. No, you don't. Every single time we watch you play it, you look like you're about to pass out during the cutscenes. But every time I play one, there's cringy shit in there that I have to put up with because that's how the Japanese culture kind of is. It's Phil, this has nothing to do with Japanese culture. The reason why you don't like it because you don't want to tell people that you're xenophobic, but the way that you look at it and the way that you present yourself, it's clear as day you're xenophobic. Part of their culture, you have to accept it, right? Humanity, it has these things that some people like, some people don't, you know, some people don't get it. It's fine. It's fine, but yet if you had to look at it, you cringe and go, Why did they put this in the game? It ruins the game. Cabaret clubs ruin, oh no, big titted women, I'm married. Everyone, different strokes for different folks, as they say. And great, you just ruined something I used to say. You know, if you play Yakuza and you want to do the hostess club shit, then do it. And if not, you don't have to either. Yeah, and I did that though, Phil. Four million yen was spent on the first one. Two million on the second one. Got the achievements for it. Because at least I go for the achievements for those games. Something that you don't really tend to do. Say that you're playing the game that has high replayability and exploring every single nook and cranny in the game. But yet, some things you just don't want to touch. But yet, that kind of defeats the purpose of a 100% run. But the problem is, so many people are so polarized. Right? I don't care if you like that content in a game. Go enjoy it. It's not for me to criticize. But yet you will criticize it every single time for no fucking reason and provide no solutions to how to fix it. Again, you're just saying all this just to damage control. 
go for it. But if you ask me the question, I'm going to answer honestly, and I'm going to tell you why I don't like it. Yeah, and the main reason why it's because, oh my god, sexual content, but I'm married. I, I love looking at my building code violation. I mean, my wife. But if more people would just learn to expect, respect others' takes and opinions, rather than being like, well, you're not in agreement with me, so you must be wrong, and let's make fun of you now. Phil, you have done this. Back, again, I'm bringing back Final Fantasy 16. People are giving you their honest opinions about it, saying that you're being unfair with it. What do you do? Saying that people aren't respecting your opinion, that everyone else's opinion was dog shit. And you didn't like hearing it. Because what people are saying about what you were saying was correct. You were just judging the game unfairly, even though you never really finished the game. You kept saying that, oh, the world building's bad. They're making me do all this fr like frivolous shit. Oh my god, side titty, Game of Thrones, yada, yada, yada. Every single bullshit excuse that came out of your mouth of why you didn't like Final Fantasy 16. Yet people are telling you, hey, the game's not that bad. Give it a chance. Finish the game. And yet you were just shitting on those people telling you this. Why? Why is everyone kind of like that? Right? Then again, Phil, why are you like this? I just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is actual like fan of Phil's or not, but someone was like, Anita Sarkeesian would 100% agree with Phil's take on his takes on Stellar Blade. Oh, yes, she fucking would, because she needs more male feminists in her fucking army. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, look, here we go. We got another one. You do kind of crap on people who like that stuff, though. You say things like you don't like it because you're married and aren't lonely, which applies to people who do like it are single and lonely. Yes, that's what he did with Baldur's Gate 3, and yet Phil fails to acknowledge this and just go on and say, I never said that. Say I know. Cat is an amazing kick, and the pizza bombs were super good. Yeah, he said something, but it wasn't what he was showing on top of it. I mean, Phil... You're just staring, looking for compliments, seeing that, yeah, you're right, Phil. Oh, don't worry, you know, Kat knows how good of a cook she is. She t yeah, she's deluding herself to believing she's a good cook, and in reality, she just takes it out of a box, throws it in the oven, pulls it out. Hey, honey, I made these. <laughs> oh, God damn it, why am I doing this? She knows how much I appreciate what she puts into when I do a special event or a marathon. And even outside of that, I mean, every day, today she's going to make the curry again. We love this curry she's been making for like a month now, once a week. Phil, did she make the curry herself? Did she actually buy all the ingredients to make it? Or is it just shit that you get in a package? And yet you're calling that homemade. I mean, for God's sakes, Phil. You both are living in your own world of delusions. And it's just sad. Can't wait for dinner, you know. She knows. You don't have to worry about what a bunch of, you know, idiots in a stream chat say. You know, just because they're fucking, you know, pathetic people who just have to crap on everything positive in life around them. You know, to make themselves feel better. <laughs> Phil, they didn't even say anything that was worth banning. Apparently, there was a question that was saying, like, hey, was all this made? She sounds like a great cook. And you got so fucking heated that you're like, oh, yeah, ban, fucking idiot. And yet, some people were saying that they were just joking around with you. You didn't take it as a joke. You took it like a serious offense. So it was like, you talk shit about my wife's cooking? Ban. And yet you had no base in your voice while calling people bitches. Those were from videos I had recorded a few days ago. Now we're going to move on to the current Phil, where he's just complaining about how the trolls are ruining his life yet again, but he just went on to play Tekken. Now, I would have left the video by just him complaining about Stellar Blade and how he's not going to play it, but I figured I might as well show off the Tekken match where he got perfected a lot by Alyssa. And then, honestly... It's one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> the rain is very heavy. Heavy is the rain. Just the rain has lots of mass and weight and volume. The rain is very heavy. Heavy is the rain. Just the rain has lots of mass and weight. What the hell am I watching? Like, what in the goddamn actual five, nine fucking hells am I watching? Is this autism? <laughs> made 
this shitty beat. I want to know who it is. Like, no, no, I'm not going to do anything mad. Or I'm not going to do anything that will call the cops on me. I just want to have a little talk with my fists. <laughs> I just felt like my entire brain cells seeped out of my ears and they're on the floor. Like, I swear, I, there they are. Uh, uh, hi, hi brain cells. Are, are y'all wanting to die? Because I'm wanting to die! Get ready for the next battle. Oh great, my favorite character. Oh great, expect lots of salt. I mean, Phil, it could be worse. It could be Lucky Chloe. Fight. I don't know what any of this is. I literally don't know what any of these attacks are. That was unblockable, I guess. What? I don't know what any of this is. This is fucking not even fighting game stuff. That's why I hate this character. Even though what she's doing is fighting game stuff. I mean, Phil, she was introduced in what? Six? Seven? Then you probably know this character already. But the problem is that you don't like this character because it's not a tech and fighting game character. This is a stupid anime character. And wah. Fight. What the hell? What am I supposed to do there? You're supposed to, I don't know, go backwards? My sidestep still hits me. Phil, you didn't even sidestep. You just took the fists right to the face and they exploded. <laughs> I'm still getting hit. I can't stop it. I, I can't stop any of it. It all just hits me. I <laughs> get fucked by Alyssa, bitch. Wow, this is a fighting game. Yes, this is a fighting game. And it's universally acclaimed as one of the best ones. Besides Tekken 3. Fight. How do I stop that? Phil, you're falling for that every single time. Like I said, dodge backwards. Or better yet, try attacking. Instinct. Okay. What do you do to that? <laughs> He's just falling for the old explosive head gag. I don't know why. It's so funny to... God damn it. It's instant. I can't stop it. <laughs> it's, it's not even a throw. There's no throw animation. It just hits you. <clears throat> yeah, it just hits you because you're so incompetent that you can't do anything about it. But I agree with Alyssa. This is fun. It's instant damage and you can't avoid it. What am I supposed to fucking do to that? Big ups to Doom Scroll for making him upset. Holy shit. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Every time she does it, it hits it. I can't avoid it. There's a lot of things you could do to avoid it, Phil. Try attacking, aiming low, maybe backing, sidestepping. There's a lot of shit you could do, Phil. You're just not doing it. Attacks. I don't know why I got hit there. Phil, you were doing something. Let, I'll even go back and see what you did. Fight. Also, I want to see that explosive head gag again. I don't know why it's great. Every time she does it, it hits it. I can't avoid it. I didn't attack, so I don't know why I got hit there. You weren't even dodging. You weren't even blocking. You weren't doing anything. You just standing there like an idiot, and Alyssa was just wiling wild on you. God, God damn it, I'm so... I'm just thinking this is so stupid. I'm getting my words mixed up. All her moves stuff mine. All her moves stuff mine, and... <laughs> All my new stuff mine. God damn, get perfect it twice, bitch. Then she just does the fucking thing again. I can't stop it. I don't know how to stop this span. Fight. Phil, how is it spam? For what we see of you using Yoshimitsu, all you were doing is spam. Whoa. 
What the? F every move avoids everything that I'm doing. Look, literally every move she has avoids anything I hit and just stuff. I can't feel you're not even doing anything. You're just standing there like an idiot and she's just destroying you again. I can't even do anything. I now literally. Get perfect, it, bitch! Can't do anything. It's just spam. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Hey, look what you did there, Phil. You weren't even close by and you didn't get the explosive head gag. Congrats. Get fucked. What do I do? <laughs> God damn it. Every single time I say get fucked, he got fucked. I can't stop that move. I literally she did it again. Interrupted my move again. Everything she does interrupts every button I've input. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. Holy shit. Phil, what? Your gameplay was bad. That Alyssa, God bless Doom Scroll. They whooped your ass. I can't do anything. I can't fight that character. Oh, that was indeed fun, but the reason why you're not doing anything against that character, Phil, it's because you don't know jack shit about Tekken. And by the way, no one, apparently, no one in chat knows anything because no one's helping me. No one's saying a word. Phil, are you expecting them to hold your hand to find out how to beat a character? Phil, it does not matter who an opponent will pick. They will play differently. You might come across an Alyssa that might not give you the exploding head. They might do other things. But no, you seem to think that, oh, they're not helping me. It's like, why? Because every single player plays differently. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fight that character. Every move she does, it seems to be unavoidable. Unless you're super fast or you know how to block it. I don't know how to block that stuff. The head's unblockable. Mm, Phil, we just saw you back away and she was about to use the exploding head and you didn't even get hit. So it is blockable and it is avoidable. Problem is, is that you want to make up constant excuses to why you suck at this game. The head is unblockable. I can't do anything. She just hands you your head. You just you take it and blow up. You, you can't avoid it. There's no breaking it. It's just right in your face. You're done. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do that? And then she I love how everyone is just saying three perfidids, and then all of a sudden, this is like she was amazing. Alyssa is such a baddie. They're complimenting the opponent and the character, but not Phil. Not even doing anything to help Phil here. It's kind of glorious. She has that floaty sweep. You can't block it on reactions. It's too laggy. So you can't block that on reactions. So it's a free three hit combo. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <clears throat> it's just literal move spam over and over. Get ready and because I've never battle. seen it, I have no clue what to do to any of it. Oh, Phil, there's a lot that you could do. I don't know. Go to training. Actually figure out the character. Even play as the character. Figure out what moves they're doing. But the problem is, is that you don't want to take the time to learn the other characters. Instead, you want to learn King, June, and fucking Paul. That's the only characters you want to learn. You don't want to learn anyone else. And in this case, you're trying to learn Yoshimitsu, but it's just spam, 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 spam. All right, so guys, if you are enjoying Tekken today, please support the stream. Oh, great. He's begging during the Tekken stream. But the only thing I really enjoy is that he got fucking annihilated by Alyssa. And all of a sudden, he's like, guys, if y'all enjoying it, please support. <laughs> Pattern that I've been noticing really lately is very simple. All right? Everyone is hanging out on the podcast. I get a lot of support on the podcast. As soon as I start playing the game, there's no support for the rest of the stream. Well, Phil, throughout the entirety of your quote-unquote podcast, you're constantly bitching and whining about how you're not making enough money, that the trolls ruined it, and that you're begging on your fucking show, in quotes. It's like, Phil, do you not understand that most people don't care for games like Tekken? They tune the fuck out. But you had 459 people watching you, and they're not watching you to give you money. No, no, no. They want to watch to see either A, you get your ass kicked, B, you spamming your way to quote-unquote victory, or moments like these. And it's it's starting to kill me. To be honest here, like... Oh, it's starting to kill you, but are you feeling numbness in one of your arms? Are you about to have a stroke? Uh, I have all those fake gifted memberships. Oh, great. He's going back to the whole thing about the fake memberships. Phil, shut the fuck up about the goddamn memberships. It was kind of funny in the beginning, but now it's getting annoying. Please stop. And it's been weighing on me now for a month. And I lost a lot of revenue because of that. And it's funny that I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm playing the new games.
Uh, Phil, why don't you go get a real job like everyone else? People that actually stream video games as a quote-unquote hobby, or they do it as a quote-unquote side hustle, they don't rely on YouTube for a full-time career. Some people get lucky with it, and they actually can run with it. Unfortunately for you, Phil, you can't really run with this due to the fact that you are constantly putting yourself in jeopardy, you're putting yourself in financial ruin, and yet you're putting the blame onto someone else when clearly it's your fault. Go get an actual job, work a 9-to-5 job like everyone else does, and do this like a side hustle, a side job. Stream for like maybe 4, 5, 6 hours, 1 or 2 games, doesn't matter. Then you can actually be in financial stability, but you'll never have that. You know, uh... It would be great to get anything. I mean, a simple super chat, a tip, anything. And I mean, I know he's like, oh, he's e-begging. Well, yeah, I'll take a look. I've been playing Yoshimitsu now for an hour and a half. Wow, you didn't even acknowledge the fact that you're not e-begging. You said you full-on admit that you're e-begging. It's like, for fuck's sake, you kept saying over and over and over that you're not begging, that you're not e-begging. And right then and there, Freudian slip, you're e-begging. And literally, there has been zero contribution. Zero. Not a tip. Nothing. It's like, so, you guys like Tekken? You're here for it. Phil, it does not matter how much you get on a stream. As long as people are watching you play the game, they can see that you're quote-unquote enjoying it, or just seeing you playing it, they like what they see. You don't have to rely on people giving you money as the reason why people like the streams. For God's sakes, you don't make gaming a passion. It's the fact that people give you money is what keeps this quote-unquote passion going. And you're so based around greed that you're focused on how much you're going to get on a stream. If you got rid of that mentality, maybe, just maybe, your streams would go a lot better. Right? People seem to enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I just... Exactly. Then Tronic says, don't have to double the podcast link. I might as well. Don't double the podcast link. Nobody gives a fuck about what you say on your podcast because most of the time you say something on there, it's usually a bad take and people make fun of you for it. So you just want to put a big old target on your forehead that says shoot me. I, I really might as well at this point. Glob, 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 glob. Mm, double the podcast. Mm. Right? All right, I'm going to stretch my legs here before we continue here. If you think casual matches are boring, you're an idiot. These are matches where I'm learning how to play the game and I'm actually losing, so what are you talking about? Yeah, you're losing because you're spamming constantly. You don't even know how to play Yoshimitsu. You didn't even look up any guides for this character, now did ya? This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Also, people might not like seeing you play casual. They want you to play ranked. A lot of people that like to watch fighting game streams love to see the person play competitively. If there's someone like Justin Wong that actually wants to teach you how to play a certain character, it's more entertaining, though. It's more enjoyable, though, because he's actually showing you the ropes of these characters. Meanwhile, someone like you is not doing that at all. Instead, you're like, okay, how do I figure out this move? How, how, do, I, how do I figure it out? How do I figure it out, guys? God damn it. The move's not coming up. Help. He was like, casual matches your boy, trying to mock the viewer. God damn, you're an idiot, Phil. Oh. Oh. I even love how someone in his chat said, I get wrecked online in Tekken, but I'm, I still getting better. At least that person has a good mindset of how to play the game. Even though you're getting your ass handed to you, at least you're learning from it. You give the opponent roses and tulips, they're GG's, and you move on from it. Phil is the one type of person that will never give GG's, never give the roses and tulips. Instead, he'll give you wilted flyers and tell you to fuck off. Oh. Uh. Was that ass scratching worth it, Phil? And then you just started to rub your face with it, smelling your own ass. Is, do you like huffing your own farts, Phil? I guess he does. It is great to see that his Super Bowl event did not pan out as according to plan. He was actually hoping that people would actually come in droves, as mentioned, just to give him a lot of money. The opening of the Velcro wallets, so that way the dents can try to save Phil, and hopefully that he can actually stop begging. But he will never stop begging, 
just because he'll find someone to blame for the reason why he's in the shit he's in. But all of that shit, though, from him trying to bring back the whole thing about Baldur's Gate 3 romance and how he wants to say, you have to respect my opinion, even though he'll never respect yours. And yet he's wanting to say that he's going to skip Stellar Blade, which came to no one's surprise that he was going to do so in the first place. Phil, if you truly didn't care about romance, you would just stop talking about it. But no, you want to keep bringing up the whole thing about romance over and over and over and over again just because you can and that you're an idiot. I forgot to mention this already, but Pyromegadeth actually made a great video talking about the romance option in Baldur's Gate 3. I will link it down below for y'all to check that out. But then going on to the present with Phil sucking at Tekken and then finding out why people don't like Tekken why he doesn't get money from it and he wants just to cry to his audience saying that i need that money guys i really really do phil just stop constantly hounding people for money you just sound like a homeless person holding up their cup saying could you spare some change could you spare some a few dollars and you're just hounding them getting in their face about it nobody wants to deal with someone that constantly begs on an everyday basis especially someone that streams on a regular basis if you really enjoyed the games that you proclaimed that you do Stop asking about money, play the game, and move the fuck on. But with that said and done, I will move on with the fill prayer. Deliver us from the dents, deliver us from the pay pigs, deliver us from the pignosis. May we never come dented. May we never come a beggar like Dark Side Phil. And just for the love of God, don't do what I just did and just have all this footage recorded but not edited yet. Just because you procrastinated a little bit, play Paper Mario for the N64 in hopes of the Thousand Year Door coming out for the Switch this year. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a good rest of y'all's day, rest of y'all's night. Keep it really beautiful, people. I'll see y'all in the next video.